I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. I got a show for you today. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We are doing great things. We have so many wonderful dream chasers on this show. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Okay, so this person hooked me up, you know, they, they hit me up and they said, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I got. And I'm like, what? And then they're like, oh yeah, we're calling you from the set. I'm like, congratulations. <laughs> so, oh Thank my you. gosh. Hans, welcome to the show. Please tell everybody who you are and what you do. My name is Hans Hernke. I was born and raised in Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm a cheese head. I moved to Orlando, Florida, and that's where I started my film career. I'm an actor, producer. I do a lot of stand-in work when I'm not doing the others. It's kind of a nice balance of, of both, both worlds. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And right now I'm working on the TV series Animal Kingdom, which is in its sixth season. This is our final season too, sadly. All oh. fun things must come to an end. But uh, it's been a fun ride being with this cast and crew the entire time. I stand in for the lead actor, Jay. His name is Finn Cole from Peaky Blinders. He's a wonderful, wonderful chap from the UK. And uh, yeah, I was able to step away for a little bit and do a little interview with you. Oh, I am so excited. Thank you so much for stepping away for a moment to get with me. I mean, I'm nobody, you know, I live in Sarasota. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not too far away from you. So tell me, why did you want to get into this profession? And, and did you find yourself here on purpose or was it an accident? Um, you know, originally I wanted to be a, a cheesemaker like my dad mm. and uh, I wanted to stay in Wisconsin. And then when my parents got a new profession, they moved to Orlando, which was where they took us. Mm. Um, that's when I discovered the whole the whole acting thing. I took a lot of theater in high school and uh, people were telling me, Hans, you really you really should be an actor. You're very dramatic and over <laughs> the top sometimes. And I said, all right, I'll, I'll look into that. So I got an agent and I started booking commercials and little shows here and there. Mm -hmm. And that's when I finally felt like this is my calling. This is what I need to do. My teachers supported me. My parents supported me. Um, my classmates supported everything I did. And then it just kind of, it took off from there. I was able to join the Screen Actors Guild by one of my commercials I booked in Florida. And um, I went to New York, Film, uh, New York Film Academy out here in California. And I've been out here since 2002. And I'm telling you, the industry has changed a lot since mm -hmm. then. Um, it's definitely an industry for people that can learn to adapt as time goes on. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been fun. And, you know, a lot of people, they come out here having this dream of they want to become a movie star. They want to become famous. And in reality, it's a lot of work to get to that point. It really is. I've been out here for 20 years. And it's all about opening up your own doors connecting with people and networking and, you know, something will pop. Definitely. I totally yeah. agree with you. I totally agree with you. I think, and everybody knows, I say this all the time. I, the last experience I had by auditioning, because I've been in a few movies, but the last audition I had really took me away from the movie industry because they told me I was too ethnic looking and there's nothing I can do about that. So I said, well, I guess I'm just not going to be in that in that genre, but I ended up opening my own door of television. So I guess I'm not ethnically looking after all, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Okay. So you have a film company too, and you're also promoting a, a film. So tell me about that. Um, well, there's a couple different films. One of them is Todd. That's okay. a film I shot in Orlando mm -hmm. um, two summers ago with my friend, Aaron Warren and his company, Pain Productions, which I, I technically work for them because I'm one of the producers. Mm -hmm. And then um, Travis Cecil, the DP, his company put it together. And the film is about a character named Todd. He becomes a, a budding madman. He becomes a very crazy person. And uh, it's, it's an interesting story. A lot of people think it's a horror film, but it's actually more of a psychological mm. thriller drama. Um, okay. That one just came out on March 16th on DVD. Mm -hmm. And Amazon Prime, so anybody can look up Todd and you'll see it. You'll see Todd in red letters. What? Um, We're going to put that underneath there. We're going to make sure we put that there in red letters. Oh, yeah, for sure, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, that was a fun and interesting character to play. 
I was glad when we wrapped because I could finally check out of that character and not be him anymore. Um, we had a screening in Orlando for it at the end of January. All the cast and crew came and, uh, and a lot of our friends came and they really enjoyed the film. So it got, it's been getting some good reviews and I'm really happy with the feedback that it's mm. gotten so far. Um, the second film is Nest of Vampires, mm -hmm. which I play the bad guy, Samuel Archer. He's a human trafficker slash uh, Satanist in a way. He's worshiped the devil, worships Baphomet. And uh, yeah, there was, that was a very, very dark character to play. Um, mm. I actually researched what human traffickers look and sound like, and they look like our everyday people. It's scary how normal they are. But uh, my character has sort of like a Jekyll and Hyde personality. Um, so I was, that was an interesting character to play. And it's, I, I got a lot of good feedback from that character as well. Um, People said I freaked them out and terrified them when they watched the movie, which is good. That's yeah. that's what I want to hear as an actor that I've, I've done my job. Um, and that film can be found on www.nestofvampires.com. Okay. That's where you can rent or buy the film streaming. Um, it's going to be on Amazon Prime and, and DVD soon as well. And mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't have done this film without my friend Chris Sanders over there in the UK. He's mm. a wonderful man. We connected on social media um, about a year, almost a year and a half ago. And mm -hmm. he had me read for Samuel Archer. He said, I, I like your read. I want you to play this character. And then he asked me to help him produce the film. So I helped him get the right people involved. And it was just a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed working with Chris and I look forward to doing the next one with him. Wow. Yeah. It's so important to network. You know, how did how do you how do you get from one point to another as a filmmaker? I mean, you know, and, and this is what I mean by that. You're by yourself and then now you're with someone. Is it easier to do it by yourself or is it easier to do it with the right person? Um, I think it's a little bit of a little bit of both worlds. Um, if you were able to open up your own doors and create your own content and that eventually leads to connecting to the right people, then you're all set. And it's, it really is about connecting with the right people that are going to support you and build you up and people that you can learn from. And, you know, there's always a bad apple and in, in one group or another, and you're going to learn from that. And I've experienced that in every project that I've worked on. There's always, a, there's always one person that ruins it for everybody or something goes wrong, but yeah. you learn from that. And right. It's, it's definitely like being here for 20 years, you definitely have to weed out the people that are not going to be there for you or not going to support you. But you also, you want to surround yourself with the people that are going to encourage you and keep you going. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit of both worlds, but I've learned just being on my own. A lot of these roles that I get, I've done it on my own. I haven't had an agent to, to get me these roles. It's all about reaching out to these people that are making these projects and saying, Hey, how can I help you? Oh, if wow. I can help you out in exchange, maybe can I get a role? Can I get a producer credit or something? Mm -hmm. And that's how I've been able to get on a lot of these films. And wow. just by connecting with Chris Sanders on Facebook, I saw a lot of his Kickstarter campaigns for, it was not Kickstarter. It was a GoFundMe okay. for, um, for Nest of Vampires. And, it's like, huh, you know, I got a valid passport. I'm going to travel to the UK. Let's see what I can do reaching out to him. And, you know, eventually we just struck up a conversation, had it read for him, and the door was open. Hey, you're coming yeah. out to the UK to be in a film. And then wow. I was able to help other people that want to do the same thing. Hey, I got this film going in the UK. Do you want to come join? And I got oh. um, another friend to come out. Two of them came out and joined, and they helped put this project together. They helped to make possible for everybody oh, man. so yeah that's it's uh that's how i've been doing it <laughs> that's wonderful you know i never thought about that i was going to ask you what suggestions you may have but that's amazing right there i mean nobody have i mean if you're listening to us right now have you ever thought about that put that in your comments what you think about that did that help you out you know because i mean literally i 
Yeah, I never thought about that. I was just like, wow, wow. So, okay, so you got all of this stuff going on. You're doing the last season of uh, the animal, the animal show. You're you you got the project. You got the vampires. You got all that other stuff. What's next for you? What is next? Well, all right. So this show ends in August, and then after that, I'm hoping to go back to the UK and do another film with Chris in the fall. We're just seeing how the, the whole uh, COVID restrictions play out. Cause I know yeah. when you go over there, you have to quarantine for 10 days, but I hear that their, their lockdowns are going to be ending fairly soon. So the rules might be quickly changing, mm -hmm. but after, after that is done, after animal kingdom is done, I really I hope I get to go to the UK and do the next film with Chris. Um, I'm definitely going to take a little vacation to the Wisconsin North woods with my wife get off grid for a little bit. And then yeah. um, what I usually do when I'm not doing this, uh, when I'm not standing in is I do a lot of catering work. Mm. And uh, obviously the catering industry was really affected by COVID yes. last year, uh, but it's slowly coming back. The events are coming back and uh, I'm going to dive right back into that to keep me busy. And then I'm going to keep looking around for a next film project that I want to work on and some of the guys I work with regularly are the Mahal brothers out of Las Vegas mm -hmm. and uh, they always do like three or four films a year so I know they're doing one in May and I'm not going to be able to go do that one because on Animal Kingdom we're under strict COVID protocols and they really don't want us going out working on other projects they want to stay in the right. in the bubble so to speak because mm -hmm. we get tested three times a week wow um, oh that that hurts Okay, but ahead. I know I get the I get the Q tip on my nose three times a week. Ugh. Yeah, but uh, I mean, if there's any roles that I can do remotely, which I've done before, I can easily film something at home. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's it's it, I'm hoping that there's another show that comes around, and the, the assistant directors from this show or other assistant directors I worked with in the past say, "Hey, I got a stand-in position for you on this next show. I would gladly okay. take it in a heartbeat." Mm -hmm. But this show, I've been on it since 2016. So I've every year I've been I have a job to go to every year, and it's been wow. very, very fortunate and blessed to be a part of this Definitely. amazing show. Definitely, yeah. wow, wow. Well, okay, so Animal Kingdom, right? Where can people watch you on this last season? All right, Animal Kingdom. It premieres on TNT. Um, season five doesn't have a premiere date just yet, mm -hmm. uh, but all the past seasons you can see on, uh, I think Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Um, and there is, there is a season where you can actually see me play a small little character. It's in season five towards the very end. That's all really I'm allowed to say, but mm -hmm. for all the stuff that I do on the show is mainly behind the scenes. Okay. So when, when my character is working to Jay, his name is, his character's name is Jay. Mm -hmm. I watch all of the rehearsals that the actors do. And I have to remember all of their marking on the ground, where they step, where they sit down. Once they do the rehearsal, they step away and I go into their place. And then they do all the lighting and all the camera work around me. And we do usually a, a second team rehearsal a couple of times. We walk mm -hmm. through it so the camera guys know what to do and mm -hmm. how we're moving around. And then if they're happy, they say, all right, Bring the first team, bring the actors in and let's shoot. Mm. So I step off and I watch them shoot the scene. And then when they're switching up for another angle, I go back in and go back on the mark and uh, we do it all over again. I do that for 12 or 14 wow. hours a day. Oh it's my so gosh. Fun. Wow. <laughs> sometimes they throw us in there for little bits and I've had a couple little bits, but there, there's one thing in season five where you really are going to see me and I was the camera guys were even telling me, hey, we, we kind of framed up on you for this. So check it out when it comes out. I'm like, I will. <laughs> so it'll be cool. So um, we're all gonna do that, right? So I want you guys, once you I'm talking to the audience here. That's right, you watching this video. When you see Hans in season five at the very end, you have to say, I saw you. That way he knows and, and it'll be up. I, I tell you, I'm I'm excited for you. I'm definitely oh, excited. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, Thank wow. you. Well, where can people <laughs> find you? And besides, I mean, we're going to have all that information about the vampire and the, the vampire movie and all that stuff. But where can people find you to follow you, to follow your progress? And do you give pointers? Oh, absolutely. Um, they, 
I have a YouTube channel. You just look up Hans Hernke on YouTube. Um, it's been growing very steadily over the years. I do a lot of interviews with actors, actresses, people in the industry, people that are not in the industry. I shoot lots of random content just to keep my channel growing. Mm -hmm. So you can find me there, subscribe, comment on my videos if you want. Um, I also, I'm on Facebook. I have a fan page and then a personal page you can add me on both if you want. Totally cool with that. Just tell me where you found me. Awesome. And then my email is actorhans223 at AOL.com. I have an Instagram page, Hans Harkey. You can find me on there. Um, and as far as pointers go, I, I love helping people out. Uh, I've had a lot of people reach out to me for different questions. And I actually, I'm a private acting coach. So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with people that are brand new to the industry. I run them through an audition training and just tell them about the industry and what to expect coming in, kind of give them the reality of, of what happens yeah. out here. So, yeah. but yeah, those are my social media platforms, the main ones that I do. And um, on Amazon, you can find a lot of my past films on there. They're all on Prime. And uh, yeah. Awesome. It's good. <laughs> well, congratulations on all the success. I am definitely not watching the movies because I am the biggest wuss out there and I'll dream about it and wake up in the middle of the night screaming. So it's not gonna work. But oh yeah, don't uh, watch don't watch the haunted movies. <laughs> no, no, I'm really bad. <laughs> yeah. Bad, I'm really bad. But thank you, Han, so much for coming in, taking the moment. I know you have to go back to set. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're gonna have all of that information in the description box below. So all you have to do is copy and paste that into your browser and click enter. It'll take you straight there. And we want to thank and congratulate Hans on all the success, man. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on today. No problem. And thank you guys for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. And don't forget to what? Dare to be different. Until next time. Bye, guys. I did to be different. I did.